Hi there, my name is Dan English. I'm doing a little introduction to my Power BI Best Report contest entry. I'll be looking at um, Marvel and DC movie information. I'll be doing some analysis on that. I uh, really like my movies and I like my superheroes, so combining the two, this would be really fun. Uh, for this uh, analysis, I pulled in some data from a few different websites, made a call to a web service to enhance some of that information so we could get information about like runtime, when it was actually released, um, rating information, boat information. Uh, my first analysis uh, that I want to do here is I want to take a look at um, what went on during the 1960s through the 1990s. We'll see during this time frame that DC dominated the market for the movies. 86% um, of the movies were DC focused and they grossed 4.54 billion more than Marvel movies. Marvel only came out with Howard the Duck and uh, Blade. Didn't do well at the box office, especially Blade. It's a rated R movie. Um, didn't do well. Um, the adjusted worldwide gross that we're looking at here is basically taking the current price of a movie ticket and factoring that in um, for all the movies, for the box office information, just to kind of put everything on a level playing field. Now let's jump forward um, to what's happened since 2000. And we'll see there's been a complete shift now. Marvel is dominating the movies. Um, DC um, still coming up with movies, um, doing maybe a handful per decade. Um, but Marvel is really going gangbusters. Uh, 19 movies during the 2000 time frame. And uh, this decade they've already done 16 movies. Um, Marvel has made 80% of the movies and uh, grossed 15 billion more than uh, DC movies. Uh, now we're going to jump on uh, to the R-rated movie. Take a look at that information. Um, the one thing we'll note here is that R-rated movies do not make as much as PG-13 movies. Obviously because more people can attend to PG-13 movies and countries like China will not ban a PG-13 movie whereas they're banning the movie that's coming out next month, uh, Deadpool by Marvel. So Marvel, the Deadpool movie is not going to do good at the box office. Just giving the studio a heads up on that. And we see that in our analysis here is that uh, R-rated movies make about 150 million on average compared to a PG-13 movie which we're talking about half a billion dollars. So definitely something to consider um, when producing a movie. Uh, Mar Marvel movies average 60 to 90 million more than DC um, probably just because of the characters. Um, I mean Avengers just made a lot of money. Um, Iron Man 3 did really well um, as well down here you can see Iron Man is really high up on the chart here uh, most likely because that came out right after the following year of the Avengers movie. Um, DC is going to be coming back a little bit with the Batman vs Superman. Uh, they're going to introduce Wonder Woman during that movie. Um, we'll see that uh, Marvel is going to make up for the Deadpool movie here by releasing uh, Captain America Civil War. Um, next year DC is going to make um, some more movies. Uh, we're going to see Justice League Part 1, uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, they also have Suicide Squad coming out later this year. Just some things to check out. But Marvel and DC definitely stick to Avengers and Justice League are core characters. Um, we can see in our analysis um, that these movies do much better um, than uh, the non, uh, not well-known characters. Let's just put it that way. Uh, just a quick shout out to my data references here, um, the web service and a couple of websites that I checked out. And uh, just I want to thank you for taking the time to check this out. Uh, if I make it into the finals, um, please vote for my entry. And uh, best of luck to all the other contest entries.